Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to my co-op playthrough with uh, my friend Tom. Say hi Tom. Hi everyone. Where we are, uh, well I've been expanding nicely, growing my territory, you know, expanding up into Bretonia, confederating people, doing reasonably well, and he's about to die. <laughs> I like the optimism there. Yeah. You are about to die. He's just lost the Oak of Ages. He's got no defenses left, and his capital is about to capital is about to be marched on by uh, by Torgavon. Yeah. So we may we may be doing a new playthrough. Suggestions down in the comments for what you think we should do. We may have already started it. And say hi to Tom down in the comments, by the way, as well, guys. Uh, but yeah, um, it's my turn. I'd better start trying to double time back to you in time. I'm never gonna make it there in time. Yeah, you're not gonna make it. Honestly, I wouldn't try. I'm no, building I'm, I'm, up. I'm doing it. I am. You are. It would be. It would not be chivalrous to not. I'm Bretonia. I am all about the chivalry. No, I have got a decent enough garrison, and I have got one of the garrison buildings, which gives a hundred percent ammunition when on siege and twenty percent reload reduction. Unless it gives twenty percent more people. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I should oh, have at God. least one turn to recruit these units, which I actually love play. As I was mentioning to you earlier, I kind of love playthroughs like this. You mean where we get destroyed by the AI? <laughs> Not if we lose, but yeah. when things don't go to plan, it's actually more fun. And you say where we die, they've not attacked you yet. Yeah. No, I'm. I am. Oh, oh there we go. no, no. Yeah, right. <laughs> if they seed you for a couple of turns, it gives me time to get there. Um, I'm just trying to see what the force... Oh. You are better to defend. You get advantages for defending. And they're not attacking, which means they're not comfortable attacking. There's yeah, literally so nothing you can do, is there? Absolutely nothing I can do. You could build troops in Carrick Buffda. Uh... Actually, uh, can I recruit anything in Bag Buffda? No, I can't no, recruit anything. No, because you don't have a settlement. You might end up with that settlement alone. <laughs> oh, God, that, that would be Hilarious? so hard. Actually, ooh, uh, make a trade deal with me and request all my gold, just in Come. case. <laughs> the beauty of Athaloran is seldom seen by outsiders. Okay, I will take all your gold. Not that it helps, because I win if you die, because we're technically in a head-to-head, -head, so it will no, say I've won. I'm just thinking, you've got, you can actually spend it this turn, if that makes sense. Whereas, if you, so basically, if you are coming to reinforce me, you can use it for some better units. Uh, I, because I'm having to double time to you, I actually can't. Uh, yeah. Oh, you didn't get those Ogre Mercenaries. Uh, no, because really? I, I double time passed. I was double timing towards you. Oh, I could have recruited some ogre mercenaries on my tree lord. Uh, I'm getting blade lord on my paladin. Um... <sighs> oh, oh, oh. I'm debating whether or not to charge Volzandil. I would probably lose my entire army in the Do forests you know of Athol Lauren. I wouldn't. But because it, it may make nope 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 Durf is too powerful. <laughs> that's that's what I'm meaning. The uh... yeah, it was partly. I I do, however, want to double time these guys down here as well. It was partly because it might have caused them to pull back. But Durf who is holy mother of dryads, he just has a forest. His army is basically just Dryad. So actually, my cavalry army would have probably done really well against them. Unfortunately, there was a second smaller army sitting there too. Now, question is, do they attack? Generally, if they didn't, they won't. Because they don't feel comfortable doing it. Oh, Anguillen has joined again in the war, I see. Oh, Red Duke. Is declaring war on me. Oh no, how will you? Oh, you. don't call me in. Don't call me. Oh, god damn you. <laughs> no, I, I, that's actually really bad for me. You git. Oh dear. Sorry. <laughs> that yeah, is my mistake. I would have always, taken the Always off. ask if you're going to call people in. 
Yeah. I would have declined, but it'll screw me up because I've got territory he is going to move on, so I'm going to have to move an army up there. So if we survive this, you're dealing with the elves on your own. Yeah, no, it's, I mean, to be fair, though, you are the one that dra dragged me into the elves. That's because I didn't have a... I, I mean, I could have not, but I would have got ripped to pieces. Yeah. Uh, right. There's my turn over. Just choose what technology I'm researching. <laughs> Do you reinforce if you double time? Uh, I think so, but even if you double time with reinforce, I don't think you can get in range. Yeah, you can't get in range. I just look at your movement. You're just out of range. So I would I'm if literally move in range. Speed. I will not aid you. I cannot move any closer because of their sphere of influence. Yeah. And you're suffering from attrition. Of course I am. Is, uh... Leaving. And my other lord is having to go the other way because of vampires. Because of you git. <laughs> I do. By the I way, do for I that. hope you don't want your money back because I've spent it all. I mean... <laughs> uh. I'll get it back to you eventually, but I have spent it all. See, they may just run away now. Oh, I'm being... Oh, no, non-aggression pact. I'm going to accept that. Heinrich Kemmler. Which seems a bit odd, actually. <laughs> really? Uh, oh, yep, no, more guys want non-aggression pact with me. I'm going to take that. Calder destroyed. And they've fallen back. Oh, heavens or the underworld. A Siren for a minus 10% upkeep on units and 10% income from buildings or Kane. Definitely Kane, because... Uh... <laughs> But you're you're safe for the time being. I'm I'm Is gonna have to pull gym? out of here because uh, yep. this this burns burns in these woods burns. Yeah, go for it. I am going to. I'm gonna pull out and rebuild, and when you go on the offensive, I will come back in. It's a shame because if I'm allied with you, if you're allied with somebody, you should almost not take attrition in their territory. Yeah, it does seem a bit odd. It would kind of make sense that having that as a mechanic actually. Right, time to recruit some Deepwood Scouts. And just Deepwood Scouts. You see, this is where actually me having a basically pure cavalry army to reinforce you with would be epic. Oh, definitely. Line of Elven Archers and then Bretonian Cavalry. So you sit there in Pepper Van, then the cavalry charges. With the new cavalry beater. Well, live. Well... Yeah, that's going to be an interesting... I I still don't understand what they've actually done in that cavalry beta. It's it's more cavalry... It's actually more of a nerf for cavalry than a buff for cavalry. So, uh, basically, the, currently, it doesn't matter if a unit's braced or not. So, basically, if a unit isn't moving and you charge it in the front, they count as braced. So, they take much less charge damage. Uh, they don't okay. get knocked about as far. And basically, they'll weather it much more. Whereas if they're in loose formation or you hit from from behind, you'll cause much more damage to them and you'll get a bigger what charge bonus. Seek? Which is kind of cool. It makes sense. I mean, yeah, it, it literally makes... It, it, it makes a huge amount of sense because yeah. it's, it's how cavalry should realistically work much more. Um... And it means that, that things like Grail Guardians... I mean, you can still charge them in the front, but it also means things like Dwarves. If you charge dwarves in the front. I don't think it just affects cavalry, but if you charge dwarves in the front, like the or orcs doing things, and with, with some of their big high high impact units, like black orcs for example, they will disrupt your formations a lot more. But now, I would assume that if you charge dwarves in the front, it's you're just gonna, it's going to be like running face first into a wall. Wonder if they've done this change in preparation for Warhammer 3. Ogres, you mean? Yeah. Ogres I wasn't just should... thinking ogres, because obviously chaos. Mm. 
ogres should have a lot of units, which... So, tabletop game, the ogres have a lot of units which don't uh, count as... Even though they're large, they don't count as large. Lord of Bortonia. Yeah, I, I, I know what you mean. Yeah, they're, you're, they're definitely an interesting one. You're going to need to try Great and Lord, confederate Loki. Findal. Oh. Uh, so, to confederate, I need to uh, <laughs> win win three battles against Bretonia. Well, that doesn't have to be me. We could go to war with another Bretonian faction. Which is... Uh, we could go to war against Aquitaine, uh, Bordeaux, Bordelot. Yeah. Once you're safe. <laughs> well... I'm building up the, and the wild hunt will be active in one turn. Yay! I'm uh, gonna move the Fey Enchantress not a bit further north to uh, so I can get 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 cavalry. Just say that I'm getting cavalry buildings where I can, but I can get better cavalry in the north. What level no. vow does she currently have? Don't forget about the ogre encampment, and don't forget about your oaths. At least that's what you wanted me to remind you. Yeah, I'm just looking at them at the moment. I hate the... I, I'm not a fan of the oath system. I get it, but it's just annoying. Unwell. Hmm. So if I have an army in the north in case the vampires come and pester me. I must. I might. Blessings. I might look at pressing him towards Leoness because he's actually quite weak at the P. I say he's quite weak. He's he's he doesn't have huge garrisons. He's very weak. So yeah, I'm gonna push him. My reputation precedes me. Well, I trust your decision with this. No, no, he's really weak. He's just lost. He's just lost troops to Baston. Baston. Oh, nice. However, I fucking say that place. To be fair, though, being able to take out Musilion early-ish on yeah. is very useful because they just the attrition and uh, the vampire vampiric corruption. I mean. I'm a, I'm, 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 I'm attempting to buff my, uh, public, my, my relations with the elves. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope if I get that, Durfu might peace out. I mean, technically, if we could peace out with them, it would probably be worth it at this point in time. Oh, definitely. Uh, do I want a non-aggression pact with Bordelow? Have you got a non-aggression pact with them? I don't need to worry about it. Take it for now, man. You sure? Yeah. I think you can confederate the other elves normally, or we could just take them by war at some point. No, I'm going to not have a non-aggression pact with Bordelow, just so I can attack their armies. To be fair, if we're going to do that, I'd probably prefer us to fight Baston. It's fine. I can break my non-aggression pact with them in a couple of turns. Yeah, because obviously Bordelow, Bordelow is... Um, I can get the uh, legendary, legendary lord. lord. Yeah. Build up those elven archers. Um, if we can take the other two elves out, I think that's actually a much better fit plan for us. Yeah, I am very willing to take try and take out Bull's Anvil. And then I'd push up into Festa Spike and the like and clear out the mountains up there. You seek the lady. I can never decide whether Glade Guard Hagbane tips are worthwhile or not. Yes. Because they have magical oh attacks my. and poison. Poison is useful. I yes. just sometimes have a few, but I just don't think they're. But I just oh, don't think they're as good as Deepwood Scouts because they don't have the um, Parthian shot. Yeah. And actually, they have a slightly shorter range. Mm. So the poison is good, but I don't think it's worth it for the. 
I don't think it provides enough of a buff, if you see what I mean. Yeah, I know what you mean. The worst thing is, I can't actually recruit Lord any of other the units. Afraid. Unless I, the uh, I'm trying to decide whether I get rid of my garrison building so I can build another military building to have a bit of variation. You're cool. Oh, I can't get. I need that garrison building. I'm too much of a coward. How long until you <laughs> can build up your city? So I've upgraded already. It's so elven cities take forever to upgrade. Uh, so I've currently got six turns left. And I chose to up and that was four turns ago. If the lady wills it. I started it. Taking my leave. Mm. It's gonna take the hit. I go there though. And we're moving on, Musalam. I don't think nice. he's got any armies at the moment. So actually, no. your war with him is potentially actually useful. <laughs> I knew it all come together. Going for. Uh... Knights are too damn expensive at the moment with no vows. She doesn't have a single vow done yet. I do like you know that what? system with the uh, Praetorian. Why, why are we worrying about archers? About anything but archers? You have a Bretonian army to, to form your front line. My strength and wisdom. Uh, and you do have six archers in your front line, and all your front line is peasants. Yeah, they can <laughs> die. That's their job. I have got. Uh... Oh, oh, I found Count Noctilus. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, I'm not even bothering trying to defend that. Crap. Oh, he didn't actually take it. Uh, probably just left a vampire cove. Yeah. I kind of want peace with him. I desperately want peace with him. <laughs> yeah, it's such an awkward settlement to conquer. If I hadn't had to turn around to deal with you, I'd have been in a really good position, but... You know, you had to be awkward, didn't you? Didn't you? It's, uh, it was your war which Just dragged me into this <laughs> situation. Remember? You can do it. You can do it. You can win. I thirst for I'm going to have my scout go out check out Bull's Anvil. Oh. Yeah, that's the issue. He's going to be sat in it with a full army. And that's the issue with taking on the Elven Settlements. They always have a full stack in them. Unless it's played by a player. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't see any way we can... Uh... Yeah, double... If we go at them with two stacks... Not possible. Especially once I dealt, deal with Musulon and bring back the other army, which actually Protector has quite a lot of cavalry. Of but the issue is, uh... Attack! Durthu. Really? Apparently I'm going to get defeated here. It's because they've got a good garrison. Yeah. They have How, walls. Uh, they I don't have any ranged units. I, um, forgot, what's your... I forgot they have walls. Just besiege it and make him try and. I am. Attack! For Bretonia. I'm hoping they break out and attack me. You don't have. You don't take attrition while you're sieging, thankfully, anymore. Yeah. You seek me. That does seem a bit of an odd one, actually. I will come to. I think, your... if you're in, say, you were in a heavily skaven corrupted territory, mm. when you're besieging, you take attrition normally, but as soon as you go to besiege, you don't. It's like. Surely, you would be taking more attrition. Yeah. <laughs> I suppose mm. unless, obviously, you're in encampment mode, but... Yeah. 
it is an odd one. I kind of agree with you. It's probably it's just a, a, a making mechanics work thing. I suspect. Yeah. Ah, I'm about to. You see, I've 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 also got issues. I'm I need to pull back. For now. For I can protect myself. I might try and uh, have some fun with some Skaven whilst doing that, but... I can always pull back when I need to, but... Yeah. Not I will profit from your stupidity in coming here to... Well, I'm gonna currently... try and buy the fucking vampire at Sofa. I definitely don't have enough money. I'm actually quite skint at the moment. Get out of my sight! Too many Sathmans, eh? I am wondering what the forces at Festus Spike will be like. I don't. Uh, it'll probably be full, and it'll have a garrison. I this way. I you need the ability to move um, agents with your underway and things. Oh, for fuck's sake! Valiant defeat. I oh, so we we need to fight this one. They don't have as many mortars. Uh, I. We can we we can do it. <clears throat> The mortar is the threat. They've got a couple of cannons. The carronades aren't actually as bad as, you, as the, the others. We've got or to fight your some army. We've got to fight something. Come on. Uh, it's actually don't forget the surprising one are the uh, bombers. Oh, they're fucking horrible. Yeah. You basically need me to try and take out the bombers with the archers. Yeah, or close on them, basically, instantly. It's the same map, so we're going to do the same tactic as last time. We're going to move uh, up the flanks. No, remember that tactic did not work. Against Can we go 9 million mortars. Time? What was your tactic? Uh, <laughs> Jesus, and have all your units as far at the back. But then the so mortar they... will just... They'll move the mortar into range and just start hitting us. Not if they can't see them because they're in the trees. Yeah, they'll move until they see them, and then they'll move the mortar to start hitting them. I... I think you'll we'll try it. I think it. it'll fail. Because it's the. Uh, yeah, we'll try it. It's the wolves, which we've actually got to the scurvy dogs. So where time... where should we in in corner camp? Horribly over here. Uh. Yeah. So yeah. Because the thing is, then. I would be trying, tempted to try and suggest putting one unit to the far right, just one, of sort of semi-decent infantry to try and... Why I say semi-decent infantry? One which has maybe got a bit faster speed, maybe men-at-arms with shields? Yeah. We fight for Oh, fuck. Let's see if cheesing it works. <laughs> of course it's not going to work. Let's triple time a minute. Basically, it'll work until they get their mortars into range. Yeah. I'm going to turn off uh, skirmish mode. Oh, yeah, you don't archers. want... I've, I, I actually don't have it on most of the time. Oh, yep, you moved your unit into sight. Yeah, I was trying to move it up. It's fine, it's hidden again. And Yeah, but they're all going over there now, so... Actually, this might work. Should Shall we? we? Go for it. Go, 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 go. Triple time. Move! So, let's see. I'm going to focus fire the bombers. Basically, I'm going to try and close with them as quick as I can. Uh, the other unit is coming in from behind relatively unopposed. Swear. 
And their, their mortars are hitting my foot squires, aiming at my foot squires at the moment, which is perfect. Well, I mean, they are the best unit. Yeah, but the foot squires don't take are armoured, and mortars are really crap against armour. Right, just make sure you deal with the scurvy dogs, because... I will try. I'm gonna... Say, right, I'm going for the bombers first. Just all of both the archers on the left hand side bombers. Spare man at arms! Clear out! Where's the king? At once! Run! Don't forget Swear your out. flanking unit. That stopped moving. Wait, it shouldn't. Right, no, it's, still, it's no, it's not still stop, charging. Definitely not stop moving. Quickly, lads! Kill them all! Swear! I've engaged one of their units of bombers. Their scurvy dogs are breaking. Right, I'm going for the hand cannons. Uh, that, that, no, no. Oh yeah, yeah. Hit, kill those, murder those hand cannons as quickly as you can. I'm giving her all she's got, Captain. Uh, my right flank's gone because the bombers. I need you to take those bombers out fast. I'm changing target to the bombers. Honor the lady. Die me. Oh, I've got a unit of scurvy dogs here. For the grail. Come on, lads. Okay, I've engaged the bombers in melee. Most of their infantry units are crumbling now. I'm sending some spears down against those uh, things. Their mortars are hitting you. I'm, I'm, yeah, I, I've noticed. Ah, their lord is going for my units. Their carronade is broken. I'm trying to relocate onto their mortars. And uh, I've got... Oh, yeah. Those goddamn scurvy dogs. Hopefully, the... Uh, all the peasants and archers are routing. Yeah, nothing I can... D oh, uh, yeah, I've got some units back. Get onto that fucking mortar! Interestingly, I think it's actually the hand cannons which are doing the most damage. It, it's whichever one isn't currently being engaged, annoyingly. I've got one unit of archers. They're going to fire up scurvy dogs that we can see. Um, I'm charging the hand cannons. Yeah, no, uh, I've got the archers going at the bombers. The one unit of archers. Their mortars are breaking. Ugh, it's freaking hand cannons. Come on, lads! Come on, deal with the scuffy dogs. Come on! Nice, their mortar's gone. I'm moving my uh, that back unit onto the carronade. It is going to be a close run thing, this. Yeah, oh, you got your spearmen back. Send them to those scurvy dogs, which are hounding these archers. I'm chucking those ones to you because they're yeah. over on your side of the field. Right. Fortunately, I've lost one unit of archers there, but I should be able to save the other. Scurvy dog's breaking. I need you moving forwards to assist up oh, here. Oh, yeah, man. no, I am. Don't worry. The mortar's out. I'm moving on to the other carronade. Their lord is just running along following me. It's quite funny. Uh, you've got... Some of your units are back in... Yeah, I know. It, it's, it's trying to see them. Yeah, I get that. My units are getting in and then running away again because they're so low morale. That unit of men at arms we put in the other flank, even though the attack didn't quite go off how we planned it to, it's gone. So, it's actually worked really well. Yeah. Right, I've got the archers going for the 
bombers. Yeah, like, those bombers are our big threat at the moment. I'm trying to use my free unit of spear, move my free unit of spears down onto them. Damn, they refocused. God help us! Tails, I... Might sound daft. I'm not sending my units, which are back, back in just yet. Yeah, I was actually thinking exactly the same. I'm, I'm going to try and bit. kite them around a bit. Yeah, because I'm just looking at the... Their bombers are nearly out of ammo. The carronades yeah. are not on the carronades. I'm pulling. If I can keep the archers and the uh, spearmen together, since there's no more artillery, hopefully. Oh, you got a spearman uh, arms Yeah, back. I'm moving them back towards your line. Yeah. Um, if you can just pop a couple of rounds into that deck, hand, the, the hand cannons, they will break. Yeah, no, it's, uh, they're out of range. And there's no, I wouldn't even to... bother shooting at the, um, the cat, the, 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 the grenades in the woods. Run! Especially as they're so close to being out of ammo. They're breaking, they're disintegrating, yep. leave them. Hit that, uh, yep, the dual sword infantry be. next. Okay. Ready for battle. Oh, you're going to hit we the cannon, the, the grenades from the side. Perfect. That's what I was going for. And it looks like it's been somewhat effective. It has. I'm getting in as well. Oh, uh, the hand cannonade guys are, no, are still... They're crumbling, but it takes yeah, them a while to crumble. Yeah. There's so few of them left. They're not a big threat. Yes. Grenades are basically done. Right, I'm gonna get the archers into skirmish mode now and just target their lord. We are actually struggling against the um, fucking bombers. It's because all you've got are peasants. I told you <laughs> this. There are many times that those bombers are surprisingly powerful, uh, a surprisingly yeah, powerful it's, unit. They're actually a, because uh, they're designed as an infantry unit rather than an actual ranged unit. I'm getting in though, keeping those, uh, de that deckhand mob off you. I'm going to uh, speed the time up. Until the archers are out of ammunition. I can't even get my units close because he's scary. Yeah. I mean, doesn't this battle have a time limit? Yeah, but it's freaking huge. I've got the other unit back, by the way. Yeah, I'm going to gift you back these uh, spearmen. To be fair, the silly thing is if we'd killed the Lord, we'd have probably won. Oh yeah, because then all the... But the thing is, I don't think we had the ability to kill the Lord. No, uh, he's... The archers are routing. Yeah, it's over. I was damn close oh. though. God damn it. Seriously close though. The scurvy dogs. Good God, I've always, I think I've underestimated scurvy dogs in the yeah, past. Yeah, I keep telling you every single time, protect me from those bloody scurvy I was scurvy trying dogs. to, to be fair, I did engage all the scurvy dogs pretty much straight away with the spear yeah. units. No, it's, uh, I actually think those kind of units are vastly underrated just because of how they're so fast. Like, it's so mm. hard to keep them pinned down. Thing is, I also fought them wrong because with the cavalry beta, which is now live, eh, we should have probably actually um, let them. I should have. We should have. Yeah. Well, we couldn't let them. That's the problem with that. That the vampire oh, setup, because you've got to keep moving. Yeah. 
You're overruled. Um. So I've just got options to. Hang on. Anyway, I'm we. I'm gonna oh, put a yeah. cut in here, man. So. As always, guys, thank you very much for watching. Please do like and subscribe I if you've enjoyed this and say hi to Tom down in the comments. And as always, uh, extra special thank you to my channel members and patrons, Monsters Abound, Unnamed, Space Ace 475, Coding Monster, and Jared Horn, with an extra special thank you to William Farmer. Links to all of that down below in the description. Cheers, guys. Treading silent.